Hello, I am Dr. Srinivas Murthy TM, a senior ENT consultant practicing at Eshwanpur. I practice both at Columbia Asia Referral Hospital as well as at my clinic called Srinivas Speciality ENT Center. You will need to be a little bit more uh, descriptive when you tell uh, the doctor that you are visiting what you are feeling when you mean when you say I am feeling dizzy or giddy. Classically, uh, ear related problems are um, described uh, as a spinning sensation. Now, uh, I would like to um, give an analogy. It is something like the three canals, uh, they manage us in three different um, directions. One is vertical, one is angular and one is horizontal. Horizontal is something uh, parallel to the ground. So, the stimulation would be something similar. It's like sitting on a merry-go-round which is a horizontal spinning sensation or sitting in a giant wheel which is a vertical spinning sensation or in a tora tora wherein it's more of an angular motion but in all of them you are actually spun and then you are made to feel something which is very unusual which you don't feel in your day to day life some people feel excited about it many people feel queasy and vomit after that stimulation now vomiting is part of that stimulation process so any reason which causes you to have a spinning sensation will cause vomiting. Now the commonest cause in the ear which can cause giddiness is an entity called as benign paroxysmal positional vertigo. Wherein a patient when um, classically presents to us with uh, saying doctor today morning I tried to get up from my bed and I saw my whole room spin and I just could not get up. And every movement I made of the head, whether to the left or right, I started experiencing the same and it's been miserable since then. Now this classically lasts only for a few seconds to maybe a minute or so, uh, invariably ending up with the patient vomiting and patient panics and uh, turns the head to the opposite side, the giddiness becomes worse, they try to sit up, it becomes even more worse, then they fall back and it becomes even more worse. Now, why it worsens with every movement is because the inner ear is getting stimulated that many times. So, what does the ENT surgeon do in such a situation is to try and identify which of the canals is getting stimulated and this invariably is stimulated by uh, a supposed calcium crystal getting released into the inner ear and this goes and stimulates the end organs which are there in the nerve endings in that uh, semicircular canal in that particular position and uh, the treatment for that is generally a repositioning maneuver and we try to reposition that crystal from a stimulating position to a non-stimulating position. The most common uh, semicircular canal which gets affected is called as the posterior semicircular canal and the maneuver that we do for that is called as the Eplis maneuver. There are other uh, conditions of the inner ear which can also cause giddiness. Now if giddiness is associated with say blurring of vision, headache, a noise in the ear or a hearing loss, then it needs subsequent evaluation to try and find out whether it is an inner ear cause or a retrocochlear cause. That means sometimes problem in the nerve and the brain can also present as similar symptoms. Any of these symptoms, especially on one side, is always alarming. Uh, if somebody comes to us with sudden loss of hearing on one side, sudden uh, noise in one ear, tinnitus in one ear, associated with giddiness, uh, with or without headache and blurring of vision, then we always look for something beyond the ear. If we don't find any uh, infection or an associated upper respiratory tract infection, which would have probably led to an ear infection, or an uh, pressure change in the inner ear called as uh, Meniere's disease or endolymphatic hydrops, then we would look for something uh, beyond the ear uh, in the nerve or in the brain. And this is usually done by uh, ordering for an MRI with a contrast.